Good morning, welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to talk about embellishment on bowls. Something I like to do is add texture and color and uh, do a little burning on the outside of the bowls mainly. And uh, I've got some ash bowls here I'm going to show you a close up in a second. Um, I like to do a little scorching and coloring and texturing and I consider these experiments there's not a great loss if you're not real happy with the outcome of something like this, but you can discover uh, what works and what doesn't work. So I'm going to do a little carving and coloring on a piece of maple here. I'm going to show you a close up and we'll uh, get to work. Now I'm going to do a little carving with a tool I just picked up a couple weeks ago. It's called a proxen. It's a reciprocating carving tool. In other words, the blade goes back and forth. It's not a rotary tool. So I'm going to do a little bit of carving on this flat piece of maple. It's a soft maple. And I like to experiment on a board before I go to a bowl that I've been working on just to see what the uh, carving or the technique is going to look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little Christmas tree. And we have a club here in Worland, uh, the Worland Wyoming Wood Turners, and there's a young lady named Vicki that did this tree. She's kind of an artist and it really was cool, so I need to give her a little credit for it, or all the credit for it actually. So I got a little V cutter in my in my tool. Now you probably can't see that very well. I need to locate it on my board because I'm not sure if I can see it all that good. So I'm going to highlight this by doing a little scorching. I just have a small propane torch. And I'm going to just go over that with the flame. And just uh, highlight that. And what it tends to do is uh, scorch the high points and leave the low areas that you've carved alone. So, anyway, that's one thing you can do. And uh, we could add a little color to that. Uh, I'll do that in another carving. Let me get set up here. Now I just showed you a technique of scorching over a carved area. This little section right here has been scorched previously and I've got a uh, Now I've got my Proxon Carver again. I've got a, a V groove cutter in it and I'm going to do a cattail. So the first thing I'm going to do is define a horizontal uh, area here that might be water, might be land. And I'm going to make some uh, stalks from my cattails with the same cutter. Now 
Now I'm going to change to a round cutter and make some leaves at the base of these cattails. I'm running into some uh, kind of uh, cross grain that I'm not cutting very cleanly. So I need to go back and forth a little bit on this. Now I'm going back to my rotary carver for just a little bit more detail on my cattail. Well, I've got some torn grain I had to deal with and you can kind of get an idea of uh, what you're up against, finding that proper direction for doing this kind of carving. Not bad, not great, but uh, again, it takes a little practice and especially uh, works, it works well on a flat surface like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, carving with a rotary tool to begin with, and this is the make and the model and all that. I hope you can see that. Um, you can spend a lot of money on these rotary tools um, that's always a factor for you and I, so this one works pretty good. Okay, this is the actual motor for my rotary tool, and there's the carving end of it. It's got a variable speed motor on it, so you can adjust that. And I do have a design in mind as I do this. Now I'm going to go back to my proxen tool, my reciprocating carver. It's got a V cutter in there and I'm going to put a little bit of detail uh, on the carvings that I just did. Okay, now I've got a nail set here. It's got a really large tip on it and a hammer. And I'll just show you something that I might do with a, a tool that I can make an indentation uh, and therefore a design. And I really think it's better if you don't measure this and make it just uh, really accurate And maybe we'll finish that up right there. But uh, that's kind of fun to do, and you can you can experiment. This is a soft piece of willow, I believe, that um, probably never going to get finished as a bowl. I'm going to do a little bit of torching on this and just highlight some of the carving I just did.
I think you need to almost do some sort of highlighting like this, either with color or with a blowtorch, because it really comes out to be a neat effect on that. I'm not sure about these, but we'll do a little torching on that. And if you did nothing but just torch the wood, you can really highlight the grain. And if you don't like that, you can just sand that back a little bit. I'm just kind of playing around with these tools that I just got. Uh, a couple people I look at, Trent Bosch does a really great job of carving and texturing. Dixie Biggs is another person that is just amazing in the area of carving. So uh, you can check these people out and, and I'm just kind of messing around with a new toy I got. So uh, it gives you some ideas on, on what you can do in wood turning. Thanks.